they'll be calling you a radical so back to the salmon numbers so finally some s Oregon Washington denial fuck I mean you think mainstream media is fucked up you think print media is fucked up whoa Oregon and Washington got to be the most fucked up media in the well Utah's we're right there with them but Oregon Salt Lake I mean you're talking the worst newspapers in fucking world history coward media American. so the epic salmon collapse, the greatest story in the world, the people that should be yelling the loudest are lowing the least. Oregon, Oregon, fold it up and just pretend, origami. Fucking go fold some fucking paper fucking cranes, fucking hypocrites and fucking gun-toting fucking right-wingers, fucking Kool-Aid fucking drinking fucking nutcases. You got hypocrites to the left, you got Kool-Aid fucking gun-toting my... You loot, I shoot. Nobody wants your Walmart fucking shit. Fucking arrogant fucking lunatics. So... They're the most fucked up people in the world. They're in Oregon. Washington. In Washington, ooh, mommy said I was smart. I'm a leader slick right Mommy fucking lied to you. So finally, finally, the story is paper, comes out their online fucking paper. I mean, the one is the Chinook Aversa. We're the Chinook Aversa, yet we fail to observe the Chinook. So first off, let's start with the Chinook numbers on the Bonneville. So remember they lowered their projection, their lowered projection. 169,000. Lowered projection, way dramatically lowered projection after the season already started. That was for their spring run. What's today? What's today? Fuck, I think it's getting into fucking late July. They still haven't hit the spring number. <laughs> but it's all good, you know. We're catching fish. Got fish in my free Fuck my fish. My ocean. Yeah, fuck you. So, the steelhead. Now, why is this so important? The story comes out, finally writes speed. Why is the steelhead an epic collapse? They're running 75% below what they should be at this day, which really they're running at 90. So let's talk about this. The Willamette, which they lie like crazy on the Willamette. Damn it. ODFW, at least Oregon fishing game will post a number. Washington won't even post. California don't even post fucking numbers. Alaska posts numbers every fucking day. So, they're at 2,500. Now, what's the date today? You heard me right, 2,500 still hit. 2,500. Where they should be? 40,000. Okay, the Bonneville. Now, the annual 10 year, last year's number on the, was 188,000. The 10 year means like almost 300,000. So, what day are we? 11,000 and change. You heard me right, 11. Can you do math, kids? Oh, it's just late again. Yeah, four fucking years of late. There's always two. Kill the sea lions, they're doing it. Shoot the comrades, they're fucking doing it. Can't be you two legged beer drinking fucking bail bay consumed mammals. Fuck, you know, generational baby bomber, baby bomber, echo boober, scumbags. You know, I'm catching fish, I'm gonna bomb me a big fucking. Tim and I worked on it last year. We call it the Blanche Martin Matrix, which how much is being sent retail-wise? Boats, trucks, fishing gear, lines, trips, blah, blah. We had figured $30,000 is being spent at the retail level for every retail salmon caught. You know, the recreational fishermen. We upped that to well over $100,000 last year. I've been working on it. We're talking, we're talking two, three million dollars per fucking fish caught, for real. I mean, you know how much fucking fishy gears on fucking, I mean, obey, consume, growth for the sake of growth is the ideology of cancer cells. Let's just put more fishing tackle, more fucking cabelas. It's like here, let's build the cabelas in the fucking marsh where illegally can be in the marsh, where the tundra swans, you scared. Hey, hey, God, we're going to shoot them, big fat beer bellied fucking pieces of shit in the fall. We're going camping, taking our gun, taking our four wheelers, taking our motorcycles. You used to go camping and get in the mountains to get away from all that. Now you got to. Like the animals got a fucking chance with these two-legged beer drinking fucking morons. Why is this so important? I'll tell you why it's so important. Because their life cycle is two years. So that get this, you're gonna love this. So Canada, who's fucked there, maybe even more fucked up than the origamis and the Washingtonians. I and mean, that's hard to get more fucked. I mean, they got us beating Utah. And you think Utah's a bunch of Kool-Aid drinking fucking morons? Not compared to Oregon and Washington. Not even close. I mean, you go talk to people about Fukushima here. Oh, they know. Up there, 
Like I said, direct hitting him. Cancer epidemic, just slaughtering him. What, huh? What's that, you know? So get this. Canada, which gets a government grant, a couple million bucks to do this study on the steelhead. So they conclude the study. It came out this week. The study says that the smolts, when they're getting out to the sea, are dying very quickly inside the sea because the sea is poison. Huh. Well, let's talk about this. Pesticides, your Viagra fucking on your fucking cruise, fucking all the, I mean, you just keep dumping, is that it? Yeah, that's part of it, but let's talk about how acute. That's not this, because why? Because still numbers were record, still had record numbers a few years ago. Salmon were record numbers in 2015, on record escaping. So, that would, if it was just like all that, which is a fucking major problem, but it would have been like this, right? then how come it's like this? Any good social scientist, any good staff professor, anybody good PhD, the greatest PhD in human history by the sea as I walk from Mexico to San Francisco. Now you think about it. Everybody argues with me, says, oh, the typos aren't fucking dead. What's a typo? I mean, California, oh, no, they're not dead. Fucking 2013, I have it. It's 2014, 2015. Look at them. All up and down the coast, dead and fucked. You know, and people have been with me when I shoot the tide pools, and there's lots of people that can witness how I do it. I completely freelance it organically. I do this. We get out of the car, and I don't even look at a tide pool. Don't even look at it. I'm like, let's just go. And I just go. Nothing scripted about it, because I want it to be organic and be real. I don't chop anything. I don't crop anything. I mean, there it is for fucking God and everybody to see. Deader than fuck. All the fucking way from Mexico to San Francisco. Diablo, fuck San Luis Obispo, Pismo, all fucking dead. So, what does that say? So, this means the ocean conditions are getting dramatically worse. Dramatically, quickly. So, what does that bode for the salmon in the future? We see the wells washing up dead. It's your biology, oh yeah. It's your pseudo de facto theology. No, it's your pseudo facto theology. God's will, bro. Did you know it says this in the Bible? Fuck, I'm a Jehovah Witness. I'm a fucking Mormon. I'm evangelical, Kool-Aid drinking, fucking G Jesus died so I could bridge Joel Steen. Up is down, black is fucking white. Fucking, what a scam they fucking had on. Four deposit only mega church fuckheads. It doesn't say that in the Bible. That's a fucking lie. You just make that shit up. It doesn't say that. Fuck prosperity gospel. What a shakedown that is. Joel Steen pulled down $45 million last year, never paid no taxes. Mormon pyramids fucking scheme. Fuck Jehovah Witnesses all. I thought they were stewards of fuck. What a joke. Oh, just do what you want. Fucking no, 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 no. No stewardship, no fucking caring about the earth, no caring about future generations. Organized religion by definition. Generational arrogance, Kevin Blanche. So, this means conditions are going to dramatically work. So, what does this say about the salmon go for? Well, they're already crashing. Epic collapse, they're already crashing. So, the Copper River is going to be done in seven days. The Copper River is at 788,000 today. So last year they ran at 800,000. They're going to come in probably right around 700,000. 100,000, you know, can you do math? So what were they in 2015? 1.3 million. What were they in 2014? 1.2 million. What were they in 2012? 1.1 million. What were they the year before? 1.4 million. Huh. Now remember, the Copper River was forecasting for 2016 1.7 million because of record escape. In 2015, they forecasted 2017 at 2 million. They're going to come at 700,000. That's the hollow piece. So you can go up and down. It's like the, you know, uh, Nushigat. They're saying, oh, we got these record numbers on the fucking, uh, you know, I call them up. Now, get this is how pathetic these marine biologists and these fucking, we're for Alaskan fishing game. They're all on vacation, by the way, all the time. But I talked to the one woman up there. I says, these numbers correct, you got 440,000 at the sockeye in one day. Yes, well, I says, that right? Yeah, we had record escapement. I says, oh, okay, you had record escapement. Then why are the Chinook numbers crashed? What, huh? Didn't you have record escapement on the Chinook? Yeah, we have record escapement on the Chinook. So why are they crashed? So it's real simple. Why are the sockeye getting strong and running that place? Because the fucking strong beast or the Chinook, they're gone, you know? Right before the crash, you get a smaller species it's called just like pond scum. Why do you think Chinook go for, or copper go for a dollar a pound and Chinook go for a fucking, you know, $15 a pound? So it's crashing. So what does this say going forward? 
because we don't count dead whales. Oh, I do. We don't count dead starfish and dead sea enemies. Oh, I do. We don't count dead humans via Fukushima. Oh, I do. We don't count dead fucking sea lions and seals dying of... Now, think about this. Been verified grassrooters like myself in the grassroots organization of the rescue missions. By the way, when they rescued it, I talked to the young man at San Simeon, that rescue mission down there. They rescued 1,500 starving to death baby seals and sea lions. 1,500. You know, a small grassroots organization. So they tag them. NOAA will only let them put one orange tag on. Why? They want to put two so they can see your identify. So they rescued 50. So they went out there the next year, you know, trying to get on the islands, Joe and guys, and trying to identify the tag. It's hard to do it, you know, and they found one. So they named him, they called him Blanche. They named him Blanche, you know. I got leukemia, fucking 44 of us wanted to let you at the same time. I'm the last leaf on the fucking tree. So they had leukemia. The rescue mission in San Francisco has verified that 40% of all the starving to death, sick, anemia rated fucking starfish, excuse me, seals and sea lions have AML leukemia. I'll never forget it, 2013, you can look it up right here. Pogo Zoo, right here in Salt Lake. We have a famous creature there, sea lion, who was blinded by one of your cruise liner fucking boat fucking goers. Famous animal. Got sick one day just like that. They run the blood test, AML leukemia, the same time I got it. Died in a few days. You're losing six, seven. By the way, if you've ever been in a bone marrow transplant unit or cancer unit, what do cancer victims look like? They look like they're starving to death. That's what they look like. So are the wells starving death or they got leukemia? How about both? You know? So what does this say? That the ocean conditions are getting... Why? Because they're dumping more and more and more fucking Fukushima into the ocean. It's by You know, 2,326 fucking days pouring this fuck what I call fructonium a gas. You can argue... You know, it's just like, maybe, oh, you're full of shit. The diet pools ain't dead. <laughs> oh, bro. I started calling it the Great Pacific Genocide right after it happened. Everybody says, oh, you're going to look so stupid if you're... I never seen the ocean so healthy. I had a mer this is no bullshit. I, when I'm walking the coast of California, I'm full of leukemia. I'm walking, just sleeping in my sleep bag, whatever, you know. I remember I'm out up above Gorda, between Gorda and Jade Cove. And I'm walking up there on the cliffs and uh, there was a ranger and I knocked over my water. I was trying to get some water. And he come over and you know I waved him down. We were talking, I says, what about the ocean? Well, I've never seen it so healthy. I says, really? I started showing him, I said, look at this, this is the tide pools I've just been visiting, I'm showing videos, I'm showing pictures, whatever, and he says, well, you know, I do find a lot of Fukushima debris, and I says, well, you need to get out of your fucking truck, and, you know, by the time I left, he put a Pacific Genocide sticker on his bumper sticker of his state truck, so, I tell people right on their feet, so I told him, come on, let's go look at these tide pools, and he's like, God, I guess I haven't taken this close enough look, I said, they're dead or fuck. I really think the California purple urchin is extinct. I, really, I never found one. I found one bat star. I mean, think about it. In December this year, when the tide pools were that freaking incredibly low, I timed that. That was a lot of work. I slept on the floor in the Casterville, you know, and my nephew had committed suicide, and I had to come. I mean, what a horrible. I mean, you think about it. I'm dancing. I tracked that entire peninsula, every square inch of it, video after video after video. I, f I mean, I had to work it. And we're talking at low tide. When you're there, you have to really work to get out there. Because when low tide recedes, it happens fast, and you got to go. You know, and so bang, 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 bang. So you think about it. So I found one bat star. I found one bat star. Oh God, these crazy old ladies come. These, so you know, the white ones are domestic. They're not. And they're not. The rest are wild. And people feed them. Oh God, that'd be fucking crazy. They think that's something cool to feed. Okay, whatever. So, the conditions are getting much, much worse. Much worse. You know, so, the Great Pacific Genocide, you're gonna look like a fool. Well, who looks like a fool? When I'm walking the coast, this is important, because I'm up at four o'clock in the morning, sun up every morning, it's just me out there. You could see black ops operations going all over. These trucks come in, helicopters, guys in military, they're cleaning up the debris of Fukushima. They also had monitors and they had weather balloons. And you see the weather balloons, they'd have them posted. Okay, the weather balloons. And so the weather balloons, I tell you, what are those? You know, you'd see the white ones at the coast, whatever. And they were there. This is in 2013, 2014, 2015. You know, I was in the bone marrow transfer when I came out walking. You know, and they took 
their radiation detectors, radnets, they had them all over the coast. You could see them. And you talk to them, and they used to take these black devices, and they had them in overpasses, whatever, and they'd come pull them and right down. And I'm talking to them, they says, oh, you can't video, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, cleaning up the debris. Don't let the tourists see the dead wells. I mean, they go in there, if that dead well, whatever, they hurry and tote them into the dumps now and cut them up chainsaws, which is outrageous. They used to tote them at least out to sea. They pick up the dead animals, they check out the dead males. I mean, I'm at Pismo. This is how abstract and gone people are. I'm at Pismo and I did videos right as the mirrors were washing up dead. And nobody believed me there. I was reporting on location as it happened. I'm like, there's people playing volleyball and look, look, you're playing on top of fucking dozens of dead fucking birds. And they're like, oh, what, huh, huh? They look down like that. What, huh, huh, what? And so, I'm, I mean, how gone? It's like when I'm in Vienna. So this girl, I lay down my, at the museum, I got all my paintings laying there. Some girl comes walking right through me. I got it on video. So I walked up to her and I says, you got to be from the United States. Yeah, how'd you know? I says, you got to be from California. Can't make this, no, Oregon. <laughs> I says, oh my God, how did I know? Right under your feet, dead typos can't see it. Dead fucking out, can't see it. Right there, blinders, freaking hypnotized, fucking obey, consume, obey, consume, from popism to shopism to drop fucking deadism. Longevity started declining in 2012. Oh, it's all coincidence, bro. So everybody fucking made videos, made fun of me. The great hell, you're gonna look at who looks stupid now because I branded my fucking self in history. So did you, so did the marine biologists, so did the people that went out, so did the haters. I mean, it's branded. You're concrete. Your inaction was your action. You're non-reporting. I mean, it's gonna be looked back. Why was not the Seattle Times? Why was not the Oregon? Why was not the Chinook Observer all over this? The Chinook Observer refuses to observe the Chinook. You know, same in California. Where's the fuck San Francisco Chronicle? Where's the LA fucking Times? You know, at least Channel 8, 10, Barbie in fucking San Diego. I'm the one that sent them all the fucking leaked video content and pictures from San Onofre. You might go, I'm the one that sent them to that. At least they ran with it. San Onofre, our crowning jewel, but it's too late, baby. It's fucking too late. Though we really did try to make it because you thought you, I was part of your fucking property. Not your, well, we're. We're all part of the nuclear industry's property now. Can't happen to me, happened to brother, sister, cousin, fucking nephew, uncle, died if I can't, can't happen to me, 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 me. Call, you know, the United States baby born, me, 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 me. I, 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 Cal, I, foreign, I, A, the whole country. Self-indulged, fucking, never grew up, immature pieces of fucking shit who fucking killed the sea. What a generation with apathy killed the fucking sea. You think about it. It's fucking disgusting. Killed the fucking sea. So, Get ready, is all I gotta say. I mean, it's already happened, it's happening dramatically. I mean, all the, I mean, how do you explain that? Oh, that's, oh no, no. <laughs> yeah, it's just fucking, there's no such thing as a fucking all the dead typo cycle. That's never happened in history, never. Acutely just all fucking dipos Fukushima. Fucking more wells have washed up in the fucking Pacific Coast in the last two years than the previous 300 combined. I mean, blues, fucking, I mean, grays, fucking humpbacks. I walked up on a humpback at Moose Landing when I was dying. I mean, they're sucked up, they're skinny, they're sick, the salmon are sick, you know, they're skinny, they're white, you know. The steelhead go to sea for two years on this last, you know. So what it says that ocean conditions are getting dramatic, who's next? Oh, you humans are above this fucking, you're not part of the ecology, you're not part of the chain? <laughs> okay, you arrogant dumb, well, it's God's will. Well, number one, if it is God's will, you know, God helps those who help themselves. Life a test? You fuckers fell. You think you're going to heaven? You ain't going to fucking heaven. You know, you go do everything the opposite of those teachings. Usury, usury, usury. Jesus fucking, you know, I mean, please. I mean, buy here, pay here, fucking. He threw the money changers out of the fucking temple. I mean, Jesus built malls. Jesus had blonde hair, blue hair. Jesus slaughtered his own fucking people, sprayed wasps phosphorus on his homeland. Fucking Jesus, fuck me. Jesus had an AK-4. Jesus fucking drove a big fucking diesel pickup fucking spreader. <laughs> and fucking, that was Jesus. He had, fuck, he wore hairspray, Jesus. Fucking please. Up is down, black is white, blue is yellow. Green, Jill Stein is dead Putin fucking red. So the salmon collapsed. The steelhead is a big fucking deal. Look, I gotta show you these fucking lazy fuckers. Now think about these people. They pull up, this is how lazy they are. They're feeding the fucking geese and ducks out of their window, out of their car window. They can't even walk. I mean, welcome to pathetic America. 
Stan Tunis.